So I recently published a paper in Alzheimer's and dementia with main results from my PhD. And in this, we aimed to look at Alzheimer's disease and Lewy body disease and see if they had unique signatures of gait impairment from each other. And the reason we wanted to look at Alzheimer's and Lewy body disease is they're the most common dementia subtypes. However, Lewy body disease is often underdiagnosed or it might be diagnosed as Alzheimer's disease. And this doesn't just impact the kind of treatment and care a person might receive. It also impacts how drug trials are run and how we recruit people into drug trials. So it's really important that we accurately diagnose what type of dementia a person has got. And I wanted to know if there was unique signatures of gait impairment between Lewy body disease and Alzheimer's disease, and if this could be a supportive marker of what type of dementia you've got. So we assessed people in a gait lab using an instrumented walkway. We asked people with Lewy body disease, Alzheimer's disease, and cognitively intact older adults as a control group to just walk at their comfortable pace across an instrumented walkway, which is a mat with thousands of sensors inside it. And from that, we could derive their walking patterns. And we found that people with Lewy body disease have a unique gait pattern in comparison to Alzheimer's disease. So they're more asymmetrical when they walk, which means their left and their right footsteps look quite different from each other. And they're more variable when they walk. So they're changing things like how long their steps are or how long it takes to make a step quite a lot more than a person with Alzheimer's is. We also found that both dementia disease subtypes looked different in their gait in comparison to our control group, which suggests that gait may not just be a supportive marker for what type of dementia you've got. It may also be just a general marker for if a person has got cognitive impairment compared to normal aging.